everyone, it is Erica back on the Crafts and Marquee YouTube channel and today I am super happy because the Wonderlust cover plate is back in stock. I love this one, it's got such a fun pattern. It has been a favorite of mine for a long, long time and it's finally back in stock. So we are going to use this today. Yes, we are. So I am going to um, grab a little piece of paper. This is Nina 80 pounds. So I, uh, whenever I'm using fine details to cover plates like this, I always use a, a thinner paper basically because it cuts easier and then it's easier to poke out all the holes. So we are going to open this and we're going to run this through our die cutting machine, obviously, because we're not going to do it by hand, are we? No. So um, I did try to kind of fit this uh, this way, but um, no, we're going to do it this way. So we're going to get a nice big piece of um, paper. So I will trim this down later, but I'm also going to show you a very, very neat little hack of uh, getting all of those little bits and pieces out. So we are going to roll, roll, roll this through. And this is all in real time because I was thinking this is going to be a great part of the video and now I'm rethinking all of my life choices. Yes. But um, so first of all, yeah, obviously running this through and then we're going to put away our die cutting machine and we're going to get our work mat all set up. So I, uh, I will be using some other products in this video, uh, but the, um, you know, this part is probably my favorite part. <laughs> I really, really like this. So I just tried this hack today and it works so, so good. So if you have the Meraki Bling Buddy, on one end you have like a, a round ball thing, yeah. So this works really, really well to poke out the little bits and pieces in this pattern. So you're just gonna run this over the pattern like so. We're gonna speed this up a little bit. I mean, look how satisfying this looks now. And then I will show you another thing that works really, really well. So do a little bit of the, the pattern. Like I probably did, I would say about half-ish um, to begin with. And, um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, the paper and we're gonna turn it over. And we're going to take the cover plate itself Yes, watch this. And then we're just gonna scrape off all of those bits and pieces that we just poked through. Oh yes, so easy, yes. And then we're gonna do the other half because obviously we're gonna want the whole thing done before we put this onto our card base. But yeah, we're gonna do the same thing. Pokey, 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 pokey. And then get all of those like little bits either all the way through or so that they are poking out on the other side. And then we're gonna scrape the other half of the backside with the cover plate as well. And we're gonna slow down again because I mean, look, it's so satisfying <laughs> and it works so, so good. There were just a couple of little bits that were not, um, they actually kind of flopped back into place rather than coming out. But yeah, this works so, so well. And honestly, this pattern, mm, it's so dreamy. I love this one, yes. So now we are going to just trim this down with a little trimmer. And we are gonna leave a tiny, tiny edge around the, the kind of pattern itself because we're actually glue, gonna glue this whole shape bang directly onto a card base. So they will leave sort of like a flattish frame around the, the, uh, the pattern. If you don't want that, um, oh, actually I'm thinking now, that might not be a good piece of advice unless you put like a frame over it or something because Otherwise it will be very difficult to actually glue it into place because the little frame will, will help a lot when you're trying to get a bit of glue on there, yeah. So I, I add glue to the back and instead of adding it to the, the card base, because I don't want all the glue to kind of stick through and like make a mess through the pattern. So yeah, this I find is probably the best way. Anyway, it works for me. And then we're gonna stick this down directly onto a white card base. We're gonna keep it very white today. I know, white space, what is going on? Mm, so not Erica, right? But don't you worry, I make up for that later. Yes, 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 I do. So this is our beautiful card base. And then we are going to be using the Meraki Moments Hello word die. So we are, I say we, but me. I have cut out three pieces of the shadow piece. And then I have also cut out three of the middle one, this one. Uh, we are going to layer all of these up. And then we are also going to be using a 
kind of a dark gray slate colored uh, actual hello so all of this yes all of these pieces are going to get layered up we're going to have a really stacked hello so we are going to be using again a little bit of liquid glue we're going to just stack these up and then we're going to set those aside and we're going to have um we're going to make some something else as well yes but these um pieces are super super easy to layer up i would still suggest that liquid glue is the way to go because you're still gonna wanna make sure that they are straight and not like all wonky. And especially when you add in the little letters because they can sometimes like just slide out and not go on straight. So yes, definitely liquid glue for the win. And then when we're finished with this, I, I had a crazy thought, right? First, like just go hello like that and then add some um, ebony um, blinks but then I was like nope <laughs> we're gonna use the uh, the wreath the Meraki Artisan Flora wreath die cuts and um, I have cut out a lot a lot a lot of pieces so I have used some Concord and Ninth beautiful cardstock in um, I want to say sea glass tide pool and ocean side so we are going to take all of these well maybe not all of them a few of them quite a, quite a few so we're going to create kind of like a half wreath around um, and um, I, uh, I forgot that I should have started with like the sort of the fuller, the fuller branches. So, but this is a, a completely optional. I mean, you do you, if you want to use just the, the bigger pieces or if you want to use kind of just the leafier pieces, whichever is your preference, you do whatever you want to. Now this would have been perfectly beautiful just as it is, right? And then it still would have looked very, very nice with some maybe turquoise or some some of those ebony gems. But then I was like, nope, we're going to add some flowers as well. So I have again used a lot of beautiful Concord and Knight cardstock. So there is some um, dragon fruit, there is some honeysuckle, there is some sweet pea, there's some carnation, some ballet slipper, and then also buttercup for the little yellow stamens things. And um, I have layered these kind of willy-nilly a little bit, actually. I'm not kind of been super duper sort of like, oh, this is how it's supposed to be. But I actually think uh, sometimes, you know, it, especially if I'm going to use a lot of them, it's almost nicer if they're all a little bit different, you know, just make it a little bit interesting. Yeah. But so I am actually only going to be using two flowers on uh, this one because I don't want to cover up the, the wreathy bit. Wreathy bit? Okay. I don't want to cover up the wreath too much. So we're just going to use these two for that little pops of pink. And we are going to be using a little bit of the old present seal to get all of these up. So the hello and the two flowers are going to be uh, taken off. And then we're going to pick up the wreath first. And then we're going to add the, the flowers and the hello. So here, because there are a lot of pieces layered, you might have to kind of be a little bit extra with your glue. But again, just add whatever you can onto those pieces. And then once it's all put onto the card. So this one I felt was a little bit loosey-goosey. So I popped that one down on its own. And then I just turned the press and seal over, press down. And I peeled and revealed and uh, then we're going to add a little bit more glue here. If you are adding more flowers, you might not need to because you can then just kind of secure all of your branches with the flowers themselves. So we're going to then pop the hello on top of this like so. Yes. Try to make sure it goes on straight because that would be just a thing, wouldn't it? And then our one flower and our second flower. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave this to dry. But we are going to add some beautiful, beautiful gems. Oh, yes. So this is where Erica is making up for, you know, all of that, all of that white space. So we're going to be using these beautiful magic iris gems. I love, love, love these. And I know I say that all the time. And probably in every video I mention how much I love these. But I am a blingaholic. I cannot stop using the bling. It just, mm, it's... It's fun, it's beautiful, it's sparkly, and it just adds so much like joy and happiness. So I am never gonna stop. So if you don't like bling on your cards, then I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, but I mean, you could do this design without the bling if you really feel like it doesn't need it. But yeah, I'm here for it. If you wanna bling it up with me, 
please do so and make sure you use the uh, hashtag uh, Crossy Moroccan when you're posting your cast on social media so we can all look and then go ooh and ah over all the bling. Yes. But once all of these are glued down, so I have added a fair amount. Yeah, a fair amount. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I did kind of go a little bit ooh, sparkly, sparkly. But I was in a good mood when I made this. So I thought, yes, we're going to do it. And then, of course, you know, using the bling buddy making this super duper easy we're gonna glue all of this down and then once all of those pieces pieces all of the blings are glued and dried we're gonna give it just a tad of a minute to dry as well because you don't want anything to kind of slip so it looks like i'm not waiting but I have, um, I have turned this video a little bit and sped up a few bits and pieces here and there. But we are going to leave it to dry just a little bit. And then we are going to uh, trim off these excess pieces here. And, and then the card is actually done. So yeah. How about that? White space. Lots of die cutting. Lots of bling a -ling. Uh, I mean, part of the card is kind of like very un erica -y. And the other parts are like, oh, yeah, that's definitely her. She is not in trouble. This is not a secret cry for help. No, no. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, this card. I would love it if, to hear what you think. And I will see you uh, very soon again. Bye for now. Or hello.